And it looks like our ref for today is Mr. Alfie. Hi, Alfie. Okay, I am. Uh, let's go ahead and open the show. Go ahead, Mr. Carey. I'll let you uh, start this out. All right. Welcome. Welcome to the UHW Roadshow. <laughs> I am Kyrie Paramore, the boy diva over at Chiva. And sitting next to me is... I am Izzy Fate Weaver. How is everybody yeah. doing today? Uh, everyone's fine, it seems. Holler! <laughs> All right. I am getting so, word from the back that we are ready for our first match. So, um, do you want to bring out the first or the second one there? Oh, I got it. Uh, let's see. Introducing first from unknown. She weighs it at one hundred and twenty-eight and stands in at five foot five. This is Crimson Shadow. And I will go ahead and bring out her opponent from Okinawa, Japan, at a height of five foot eight, weighing in at a hundred and thirty-two pounds. This is Chiyoko. All right, let's get it cracking. Crimson Shadow taking on Chiyoko, Queen of Strong Style here. And Alfie asking now checking if, if they're ready. <laughs> Chiyoko saying that she is ready, just waiting for word for Crimson. All right. And our first match is underway. These two are now circling each other in the ring, in the middle of the ring. Eyeing each other down, waiting to see who's going to strike first.
And it looks like Chioko's going to be the first to strike. Oh, but Crimson returns with the roundhouse kicks. Oh, she's putting a hurting on Chioko, too. Whew. Those kicks and punches. Knocking Chioko down onto her arse. But no, oh. is not going to stay down for long. Spin kick, gut kick, and into the front face lock. She's giving her a tour of the ring. How nice of her. Oh, either that or Chiyoko's waiting to end this quickly. Oh, but it looks like Crimson's saying, nope, nope, not today. As she just hits an arm drag on her. She Irish whips to the ropes and tries to hit a spin wheel kick, but misses. Chiyoko returns with a discus clothesline. Oh, this match has been going back and forth, and we've got a Northern Light suplex, but not even enough time for poor Alfie to get down and try and get more than just a one count. My goodness, my goodness. Big summer blowout. Crimson Shadow now with the armbar takedown and yeah. wrenching in that arm. Working on the arm of Chioko. Oh, yeah, we don't need to translate her to know what she just said there. <laughs> I don't think I want to know what she said there. Nah, I already know what she said there. <laughs> Wrenching that wrist lock, Ch Crimson. Oh, but Chioko reverses with an arm snap. Ouch. This match has been back and forth. Neither one has actually gotten any real solid advantage as of yet. Oh, to go either way from the looks of it. Oh. Oh. Chiyoko's now going for the pin here. One, two, no. But no, just a two count. Yes, only a two count. Computer says no. Oh, double drop on both legs from Chiyoko. Very, very smart move on Chiyoko's part because Crimson relies on her legs. Oh, yes, she does. And it looks like Crimson is feeling it right now. Oh, spin wheel kick from Crimson. Now taking down Chiyoko. Ooh, Crimson with the Kopu kick. And she's going for a pin here. One, two. But no. no, just a two count. Chioko able to kick out. 
Yep. Now, Crimson taking some time to breathe, but that's not a good idea while she's punching on that leg, but she's also allowing Chiyoko to get up. Oh, yes, she is. It looks like she could be in trouble here now. Oh, now these two are trying to hit each other's legs. Well, they're trying to kick each other at the same time. Yes, but it looks now like Chiyoko's, Chiyoko's getting that control. upper head, getting in oh, those, those martial art kicks. Oh, and a leg sweep to finish it off. Going in for the pin. Only but, a two. Counts. Oh, just a two count. Now picking up Crimson, what's she going to do now? Oh, she's that waiting and it looks like. Well, she just said sayonara to Crimson, but... Oh, Crimson but, coming oh, back. but a full up One, two, three! And it's the Eat. three count! Whoa! <laughs> Your winner of this match, Crimson Shadow! Wow. Wow, <laughs> that was amazing, and very, very, very smart. Oh my goodness. That was very well, uh, what a way to kick off our road show. I very much agree. Fast-paced action between these two and Crimson getting the win here. Very, very great match between those two. I, I do have to say I enjoy watching those guys, both of those ladies in the ring. Oh yeah, it was it was exhilarating. <laughs> Just waiting for word from the back about our next match being ready. I have to say that 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 first match though we saw a lot of back and forth. Oh yeah, true. There was no dominating from each side. Each side took their own control. They took their own hits. But in the end, it was Crimson Shadow that walked out the victor. I mean, it was it was hard to definitely tell who was going to win. Oh yes, these two have a similar style of wrestling that pretty much is on par with each other. It's really hard to tell from the beginning. Let's see. Um, Okay, why don't you go ahead and bring out our next opponent, or our next competitor. Alright. Introducing first. From 
South Carolina. She weighs in at 150 and stands in at 6 foot. This is Miss Misty. Now, now, Misty, you're supposed to get in the ring. You can't wrestle outside. No, no, she's probably taking her time. <laughs> All right, you want to bring out the next one, Izzy? I will go ahead and bring out her opponent. She hails from Springfield, Tennessee, at a height of five foot seven, weighing in at a hundred and fifty-five pounds. This is Rosalind Grace. Oh, Miss Misty not looking impressed here with Rosalind. Oh, showing some shade there, freaking blondes. Ugh. I I will I'll keep my opinions to myself. <laughs> Rosa, just shut up and get into the ring, huh? 
Why do I gotta wrestle a blonde? Do I look like I wanna catch dumb bitesses? Um... Again, I'm going to keep my comment to myself. <laughs> oh, is it's he? Dumbassitis. Dumbassitis. I don't know. I don't know if she can even pronounce it. Rosalind, that is. Okay, Misty, darling. Don't. She's smarter oh. than you think. Don't underestimate Rosa. Oh, boy. Yeah, Misty's just throwing all that shade. The problem is, she's gonna piss Rosa off, and, um... Oh, I know. Rosalind can be quite the yandere, if you know what I mean. No, I don't, but okay. <laughs> well, there, there's English. always... There's always Google. Uh, no. Oh, come on, don't be lazy. I, I have better things to do with my time than look up stupid words. Uh, what the fuck is this? Are we having a math class or something? Ugh, I hate math. Anyway, the bell has rung. Let's get to the action in the middle of the ring. Misty now coming up to Rosalind and getting on her face. Not a smart move. I've, I've actually fought both these women. And she just slaps her in the face, really. That's not very nice. <sighs> Rosa, it's a wrestling ring, darling. It's not supposed to be nice. I have told you this. Oh, I might have no, to tell no. her again. <laughs> oh, Misty with a punch. It's it's the eight. And another one. Rosa. <laughs> and she just shoves her. Did she really want to do that? Corner. Now going up into the corner for those ten punches. I'm waiting for Alfie to warn her to get out of the corner. I think Alfie if is falling asleep the over there. Oh, hey, Alfie's awake. He He was sleeping? I don't know. Usually he's faster on that. I think something that distracted is true. him. That is true. Misty, remember. Calm. Now ta taking and wrapping the knee of Rosa, that's actually smart tactic because Rosa likes to use her legs uh, just as much as uh, anybody else. And plus, if you can't stand, you can't wrestle. Yep. Oh, poor Rosa now holding on to her leg. And Misty, just well, looking at her. Have you like wrapped around those ropes? It's not fun. Yes, I have. And that was during training. Ugh. Misty came oh, in, but no big, was able boom. to get that leg up. And I think she was stretching it out, and well, her foot met Misty's mouth. Oh, yep. That's what you call literally foot in the mouth. <laughs> Malthitis. Yep. And Rosalind calling Misty a headache. Cravatti no, no. needs the face. <laughs> and now she's saying she's gonna give Misty a headache. Um, poor Misty Going looking. Off the ropes. And a cyclone kick. Boom. 
knocking Miss Misty down to her ass. Uh, but it looks like the injuries of it looks like one of her legs is getting some pain here. Again, it's the leg that she had wrapped around the rope. It does not surprise me. Uh, me neither, but how long could she take it, though, is the question. Going in with those combos of punches and getting her into that swinging neckbreaker. Oh, oh yes. Picking her up. Ooh, Haymaker Punch from Ow. Miss Miss. That's gotta hurt. And she shakes her glove. Guess she must have felt something hard there. <laughs> um, maybe she got a tooth in her glove? I don't know. That may have. Hard headed bitch. <laughs> oh, brother. Um, takes one to know when they're Misty. Oh yeah, Misty's one stubborn girl here, but hey, you know, she can take it as as much as she can dish it out. Of course, that might be a disadvantage knowing how Rosalind can get. Well, both of these women, like I said, I've fought them both, and they're both pretty hard-headed. Miss Misty now putting on the stomps on Roslyn. Working on that leg again. And she's just grabbing her by the hair. Sending her Sleep. to the ropes. Oh, clothesline. Picking Rosa right back up. What is she going to do now? Sending her to the ropes one more time. That could be dangerous, but it ended up working in Misty's favor as she hits Rosa with that back body drop. Sending Rosa up and over. I miss Misty full control of this match, but for how long? Misty going in for that pin. But no, just getting a two count. Rosa able to kick out. Oh, yes. Misty now picking up Rosalind from behind here. Getting her into that arm bar. I don't think I've ever seen anybody ever tap to an arm bar. Oh, it, it could happen. There are several occasions. Have you ever seen it happen? Nope. Okay, then that's what I said. And Rosa able to fight and get up to her feet. Oh. oh. 
very that nice roses. escape and able to just wrench her way out of that, taking her oh. leg and just leg meat face. <laughs> Looks like all that trash talk, Misty, is coming back to get her now. I tried to warn Misty. Oh well, it looks like she's getting what she's coming. What's coming for her? Well, you know, she decided to run her mouth. Oh, <laughs> famous <laughs> sir! Ow, hitting Misty with that famous sir. And she poses. <laughs> And she's telling Misty that, see, I'm not stupid. Well, that's because she has awakened her dark side. Um, Rosa's never been stupid. That is true. She's just easily distracted, yes. That's, that's, that's what it is. She's easily distracted. And now going for that... Ooh, Foxy Fox. Buster. <laughs> but no, it was... Rosa trying to bounce around and get the... her leg working now so it's not as painful. And she's taunting Misty to get up. Oh, I don't think that's her taunting Misty to get up. I think that's her just say, her saying boom, 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 because, well, that's Rosa. Of course. Oh! Ooh, Rosa picking Misty up, but Misty ready for it comes back with that DDT. Going in for the pin. But no, just a two count. And now, just like that, Misty has taken back over control of this match. Going in with that vertical suplex, getting her up. And right back down. And Misty now taunting Rosa to get up. Uh, not a good idea, Misty. Calling her Blondie. No, oh, this is Misty's funeral. Oh, well. <laughs> Rosa gets back up to her knees. But no, oh, only to be knocked right back down by that vicious spear. And now Looks like she's getting ready for something. Screaming, tap or snap. She gets her into that sharpshooter. You see Rosa trying to reach for the ropes and Alfie checking to see if she wants to tap. Misty lets go of Rosa. Picking Rosa up. And Rosa coming back and hitting Misty with that jawbreaker. Ouch.
And picking Misty up. Ooh. She's shoving her to the turnbuckles. To the corner. Rosa lines up from the other side. What's Rosa got planned here? Oh boy. Going in with that swanton bomb. Oh. Oh boy, they must have landed hard on the outside, it seems. And Alfie warning the two of them to get back into the ring. That must be one painful fall, too, because they landed on that rubber padding. Obviously, not much protection. Rosalind now has Miss Misty with the by the hair. And Alfie's still yelling at the two of them to get back into the ring. Alfie back up to four. Yeah, it looks like Rose is catching her breath here. With Miss Misty down, she can do that. Oh, but now she has her with the neck wrench hold here. And now just taking and striking it across the chest of Miss Misty. Beth checking on I'll Misty. Oh, but yeah, she's Alfie. fighting out, fighting out of it. It seems. Well, how would you feel to have your chest hit on? You know, men are a little bit luckier than women. We have boobs there; they do hurt when they're struck like that. Oh, uh, especially if they're fake. <laughs> You know, I'm pretty sure when they're fake, they get easily ruptured. Yeah, well, that could be even messier. Yikes. And now Misty sending Rosa to the corner. Um, after that corner splash from Misty. Now Rosalind's down.
And now Misty picking up Rosalind, getting her up into that gorilla press. And they say, what goes up must come down. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is, I was about to say, Rosa could always try and get out of that, but no. <laughs> Misty just sends her down to the map. And now she's going for the pin. One, two, no. Uh oh. Misty what calling for that. She, she's calling for that side. She's going, Psy, 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 Psycho. She's calling for that Psycho Bomb. Oh! Up for the Psycho Bomb. That was quite the Psycho Bomb. Alfie, this might be a good time to count. Uh, looks like Misty now getting up. But she isn't finished, it seems. Picking Rosa up. Calling for another psycho bomb. Oh! No, this time Rosa able to reverse it with that diving hurricane, Rana. Now, uh, Raza now taking raging hyperactivity. And now hitting her with the ADD DDT. That's a lot of D's in that DDT. A whole lot. And now Rosa with the stomps. Going She's going for the for pin the here. All right, she got a three count. And Whoa, your ladies winner, and five pinfall, Rosa. No, you're a hyper squirrel. <laughs> squirrel, squirrel, squirrel.
Okay, and with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take a few moments to pay homage to our sponsor. So turn your eyes to the Tron as we play our sponsor video. Alright, this has been fun, but ugh. And errands to run and stuff. <laughs> you be okay here, Izzy? Yes, I will. <laughs> and I am floating. <laughs> Can you Alright. Enjoy the rest of the show, guys. Alright, I am just waiting from word from the back that our next match is ready.
Just waiting to see if they're going to bring anybody else out to come and help me. Oh, look, it's red. I mean, hi, Maxie. Is he? How are you doing this evening? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Do you have some information for me? I, I thought you already had that information. Well, do you obviously think, think I'm going to bring it to this? Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> Here, have this. I'll let you bring up the first one in match three. How does that sound? Thank you for that, because... Yeah, that is a thing. Match three. Paperwork. Shuffle. Shuffle. And we're going in that order, correct? Yes. Yes. All right. He hails from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He stands at five foot eleven, weighs in at a hundred and sixty-five pounds. This is Tyler Corvus. It is the Philly Avenger, Tyler Corvus. My god, would he grow up? Shoo shoo! Shoo shoo! Hi, Tyler! What? To get you away from here faster? Sweet Jesus. Thank you, Tyler. I wonder if he's going to say that to his opponent. <laughs> oh, yes, that just <laughs> might very well be a thing. <laughs> And I will go ahead and bring out Tyler's opponent, hailing from Deep Cut United Kingdom at a height of five foot ten, weighing in at a hundred and eighty pounds. This is Tommy McGregor. <laughs> and I think Tyler knows just what he bit off in this match. Or going to get a face full. <laughs> Poor Tyler. I look forward to this match. Nope. No redos. This is the redo already. No threesies. <laughs> I 
I think Tomi's doing her makeup. Uh, Tyler, I'll get Mac to stop ya. Tommy, did, Tyler, did you scare Tommy? Oh, no, there's Tommy. Izzy, would you mind giving everybody who isn't familiar with Tomy a brief infomercial about this? Um, Tomy is a trans, so a guy in a girl's body? Or, yeah, Tomy's trans. That, that's, that's it. That's wrapping it up in a nice nut, little nutshell. Yeah, no, no, us here at UHW does not condone uh, intergender ma matches, uh, according to whatever criteria cor the corporate places that down Tommy is still a guy. Yes, Tyler. Grow a set of balls. Quit crying like a little bitch. And Alfie checking if both competitors are ready. <laughs> Tyler saying he thinks so. I do have to admit, admit that Tommy's. Lifestyle choices, let me put it that way, way, and please forgive me for any seeming like I am not approving of this, but it definitely works into Tommy's advantage. Yes, yes it does. And uh, Tommy's starting off with her, his normal of, let's see what she got, big boy. I, I do know a couple of the other males that Tommy has fought. Um, Tommy's hit on them. And, uh, it's interesting. We'll leave it at that. And Tommy's skipping her way over to Tyler. Oh, poor Tyler only comes up to her boobs. And Tyler quickly shoving Tommy off. <laughs> and T Tommy asking, so said a wing or a leg? Which, for anyone that does not know Tommy, Tommy is a uh, technic technical specialist and tends to focus on either the arms or the legs of her opponent. Whereas T Tyler is a little bit more of a, I'd say a strikle, striker aerial specialist. Yeah. That, that sounds about right for Tyler, yes. 
And Ooh. Tyler thinking he had the best of Tommy, but no Tommy quickly getting up and uh, sweeping the legs out from underneath uh, Tyler. And now Tommy going to work on the legs of Tyler, but no Tyler thinking smart and quickly gets that drop toe hold in, knocking Tommy down. Now delivering a punch and a chop, going off the ropes. And, ooh, drop kicking Tommy straight to the face. Beautifully executed. And this matchup is going to be particularly interesting. We got to cover one. No, no just, just a one count. One count. <laughs> but this match is going to be interesting with this clash of styles it it, it definitely is because quite fr frankly you know my personal th thought of the th thing is that each of the styles that each of these two uh competitors can't say boys obviously uh, is usually the style that the other would have trouble with in the ring. Tyler now with the cover. This time, <laughs> no. get into. Just a two count. Tommy having enough to uh, kick out. It's still a, a little early for Tommy to be completely done. Yeah, the, the interesting th thing about th this is going to be coming down if they end up going to finishers for the end. They both have submission finishers. Yes. Tyler holding Tommy, just catching his breath, saying he's not going to lose. Now oh, Tyler picking Tommy up and slapping and punching Tommy. Going off the ropes, hitting another drop kick to the face of Tommy. But no, Tommy coming back, getting Tyler in that wrist lock. Oh, and here comes one of Tommy's more known moves, going ahead and wrenching hard on the wrist lock. Starting to th think Tommy might be th thinking wing here. I, I have to agree with you, Maxi. It's looking like uh, Tommy's picked, and it's going to be wings for dinner. I mean, um, yeah. Now getting him down into that arm bar takedown. Surprised she's not trying to tickle him. Tell me now, and you down, down on this.
Tyler no. saying that he won't give. Yeah, though you can see, see the positioning of T Tommy's leg in at this, making a po point of applying as much pain as possible. Alfie che checking to make, make sh sure that Tyler's okay. Oh! T Tyler being quick to j just shove Tommy out of the ring. Very quick thinking and... But, uh... Tommy quick to come back into the ring. Well, something was going to have to give that there, and I guess that was it. At least it wasn't Tyler's arm that gave. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The question is, with Tyler pushing Tommy out of the ring, just how upset and mad is Tommy going to be? I would imagine pretty much so. And now Tommy getting Tyler right back into that arm bar. But Tyler being quick to get out of it. <laughs> Unceremonious drop there. Onto the elbow. Ouch. Going in for the pin. But no, just a two count. Now, Tommy picking Tyler up, getting him into that wrist lock, and straight into a hammer lock. But no, Tyler being quick and sending Tommy straight over into that snap mirror. Picking Tommy up, sending her to the rope. And coming back, and Tyler hitting Tommy with that Herc and Rada. Tyler being quick, staying on top of Tommy. Now slapping Tommy across the face. Delivering a left punch, a right punch. Followed by another left. Another right. No, a punch. Now going off with that rage punch, knocking Tommy onto the ground. 
Now Tyler going in for a pin. But no, just a two count. And the famous words of Tyler going trapped. Oh, Tyler picking Tommy up. Seems like Tyler's getting just a little bit frustrated here. Getting him into the wrist lock. But no, now Tommy doing a little, uh, what Tyler had done earlier with a little oh, bit of flair. Creative way of getting out of that. <laughs> Very creative. Working on that arm of Tyler. And Tommy telling Tyler to tap. <laughs> Tyler saying never. <laughs> we'll see. Just how much he says that later. Tyler able to fight his way out of that move. And there we go, seeing that wrist lock again. <laughs> Ooh, and then dropping down on that elbow. So I, I have to say, Maxie, then, that Tommy has definitely picked her target in Tyler's arm. Now Tommy going up top, and Tyler starting to slowly get up. Going in, but no, Tyler saw her coming and kicked her straight in the face. Now Tyler dragging Tommy to the center. Going in for Freedom's Vengeance. Now trying to get Tommy to tap. Tyler getting that locked in. Smart ring awareness by Tyler in the middle of the ring. And Alfie checking on Tommy, asking Tommy if she wants to give. Not looking like Tommy's going to give. Good place for that to ha happen. It just might be that T Tyler goes ahead and picks up the win in this just because of the positioning. Mm-hmm.
You can he hear both competitors growling. Tyler as he's wenching it in tight tighter and Tommy because of Oh and Tommy slips out of this and out of the ring. Beautiful tactics there. Afi now working his way to the outside to go see if Tommy is all right. Oh, it doesn't look, look like Alfie can see, see where Tommy crawled off to. G guessing he du ducked underneath the ring at some point through this. Starting the 10 count. Happy now up to seven. If he reaches t ten, this match is over. And ten, that does it. Your winner by count out, Tyler Corvus. I'm guessing Tommy just got tired of playing with Tyler and found something maybe backstage to go play with. Yeah, Max, exactly. Concerning the f fact that he doesn't have pockets, he was just in the match. Yeah, no, I, do I don't want, want sweaty ball uh, candy. Thank you so very much. Oh, so it's my turn for the phone call there, Karen? That's right. All right, let me go ahead and take that. How's everybody doing tonight?
so who's ready for our main event? I don't think they're loud enough, is he? I don't think they're loud enough either. That was a little bit better. But I think they still could get louder. Okay, then I will go ahead and bring out our first competitor. She hails from Homegrown USA, weighing in tonight at 135 pounds at a height of 5 foot 8. She is everybody's favorite stoner. This is Honey Blunts. High five. High five. High five. High five. Even Honey's video decided to High take five. a weed break. And Karen, do you want to go ahead and bring out her opponent? Absolutely. And her opponent, hailing from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, standing five foot four, weighing one hundred and sixty-six pounds. This is Nicole. Alfie checking to see if both competitors are ready. Nicole saying she is, just waiting for word from Miss Honey. 
And, and Nicole, I have to boo to that. Just saying. For those just joining, UHW, Nicole is UHW's resident nudist. And Honey is everyone's favorite stoner, so we've got the stoner versus the nudist. But because we have an asshole GM, she's forced to wear clothes. Quick lock up there, but Honey quickly getting out of that hammer lock with that snap mirror. Going for that close. Honey ducking under that clothesline. Not once, but twice. Awfully quick. But not quick enough to avoid that drop kick. Now Nicole getting Honey into that side headlock. Good strategy here. Where the head goes, the body goes. Hold that and cut off the air supply. She can't wrestle. Or you punch him in the head. That too. Getting her into that hammer lock. And Nicole just laying the beat down on Honey so far. Going in for that pin. One, two, oh, only two. No honey having enough to kick out. Beautiful standing senton there. Not once, but twice. And another, another cover. But no, still just a two count. Not enough to get the three. Just waiting for Honey to get all pop-eyed up on weed. <laughs> Nicole asking... If you're smoked up, I don't know if she's talking to Honey or to the ref. Now getting Honey into the one type of hug you don't want to be in, and that is a bear hug. Absolutely not. Cutting off the air supply. Weaken your opponent. Good strategy. Alfie checking on Honey, asking if she wants to give. Nicole trying to answer that question for her. <laughs> and I think Honey does not like Nicole answering for her because she's just responded with a bell clap. And a beautiful suplex textbook there. Roof with a leg drop. Okay. 
And the Acapulco Gold. Hitting right in, in the middle of Nicole's chest. Going now Honey cover. going in for the cover. No, and just a two count. That was so quick, I can't even call it. It was like a rebounding, flying, head-scissor takedown there. Am I stoned? If you're stoned, Karen, so am I, because that was quite, quite quick. And now we've got another cover, but no, Nicole being able to kick out. Honey locking in those head scissors. Honey tunting Nicole there, saying, uh, you seem to like bare legs so much, I'll give you a close-up. <laughs> Nicole didn't like that and, uh, kind of need honey in the face. And I can see there are a couple of gentlemen around ringside who are going, me, me, my turn, my turn. Hey, there might be a couple females around the ring saying the same thing. Just saying. This is true. Now Nicole just driving Honey back into that corner with those elbow strikes. Now, in the corner, delivering chops across those chests. <laughs> Nicole telling the ref to shut up is not a smart idea, seeing as how the ref can DQ you. More of a mean streak than I'm used to seeing out of Nicole. Very much so. I gotta say, I kind of like the new attitude. Now Nicole going in for a pin. But no, Honey's still able to kick out. Now, Nicole looks like she's going to go up top. Honey's starting to slowly get up. I don't know if this is a wise idea. Nicole going in, but Honey able to counter. Ouch! With that nice inverted atomic drop.
Now, oh, honey, going for that pin. But no, just a two count. Honey's got to be starting to think what she have to do to put this girl away. Well, both women have to be thinking, because you've seen both ladies try to cover the other and just neither getting that three count. Well, we saw that from Nicole climbing the top rope, trying to gain an advantage here. Didn't work out for Money her. going for that rebound oh. cross money to be met with a loose as press from Nicole. Now Nicole going in for that pin. But no, just a two count. Just like John Cena. Sorry, I had to. Wrong, just, just wrong. And now Nicole dragging Honey towards the corner. And Nicole going back up to the top. Diving DDT takes Honey down to the mat. Head first. Ow! That's gotta be it. That, that has to be. That's... But Nicole not going for the pin, but rather dragging Honey to the center. Ooh! How stomping on the midsection of Honey. And then picking her up. Don't think that was a wise move. She should have had her there. Going, f whoa, going for that pile driver, but no, honey, able to counter with that diving hurricane Rana. And just like that, honey, out of nowhere with that reversal. That like an RKO out of nowhere, but it's a honey out of nowhere. That could be true. Honey, Honey's in that corner talking. telling <laughs> telling Nicole to get up. And Honey coming in with that psychedelic synchronicity. And Alfie checking Right in the middle of the ring. Very good ring awareness on Honey. Nicole screaming, no, she won't give up. I just don't know where she can go. And she taps. Your winner by submission, Honey Blunts. was a well-fought match on both ladies' parts. But everybody's favorite owner comes out with the wind in the end.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our show. We hope you did enjoy seeing some action. And we will be back next week on Monday for Havoc back on Careers at 12 o'clock SLT. And then also Tuesday at 3 o'clock for DNA. I am Izzy Fate Weaver alongside... Temptation Gear and Darkwatch. Thank you, everyone, and we will see you next week. This video was filmed on location by Zarkin Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.